the reference to this citation. This is a nice feature that you can add uh, citations for books, journals, websites, um, and other publica uh, publications um, that are relevant to the case. So you might have a, um, a website which references this development proposal. Um, so let's make up one. Um, Okay, let's say Flamingo Flay Development. Docosa, this is a website, and you can then add another one. The date achieved uh, is hidden from you uh, because the system automatically sets that to the day you're entering, entering the field. Um, so it works similarly to Wikipedia, um, so that websites that are referenced on this date, we can keep track. Um, of when that website reference was actually drawn, because things do change. Um, please do not insert the full text from a, a book or a journal article into this field. This is only for citations, so uh, a typical citation might look like um, applicant um, uh, the test applicants of the and then perhaps a journal title um, okay something along those lines okay um, all right okay let's move on to location info this is your mapping um, and I'll return to this in chapter 4. Um, this is one of the most time-consuming um, sections of creating a case. Uh, if it's a heritage objects case, it's unlikely you'll need to map anything. Um, but for most development applications and permit applications, the case needs to be mapped um, for uh, processing. So we'll get to that in chapter 4. Under attach docs, uh, you can upload all the relevant EIA documentation, the permit application forms if you are using them and not um, submitting entirely uh, on the, in the digital format alone. It might be permission letters you received from the repository which might store the material from an excavation, uh, permissions from owners, um, be various other things that the provincial authorities might require from you. Um, this is the place to, to upload those documents. And there are two sections. There's case images and digital documents. And you'll notice there are certain restrictions on the types of documents you can upload and the size of those documents. The default for images is one megabyte per file, not for the batch. So you can upload a batch exceeding that. Um, but uh, all the images are resized automatically to 800 by 600 pixels if you haven't done so prior to uploading. Um, but a good tip is to resize all your images down to 800 by 600 before uploading because it makes it a lot faster and the resolution is not going to be retained anyway. Um, the reason we've gone for 800 by 600 is this is an optimum resolution for viewing and it's not so high that uh, images could easily be taken off the website and used for, for publications and we prefer the uh, other users on the system to revert back to the original author of the photograph for um, higher resolution images and they can negotiate the use of those images directly with the author. Um, the uh, files section for PDFs, you'll notice the uh, file size is bigger, it's 15 megabytes, often uh, the PDFs of uh, EIAs are quite large. If your file size exceeds this, please break it up into different sections uh, and upload the individual ones or uh, email your case officer if you cannot get your file size lower than 15 megabytes. Uh, there are various free um, applications which will run OCR and op optimize your PDFs for you after scanning. Um, so check those out and those might help if you have scanned uh, your application documents. Okay, There are other file types besides PDF you're allowed to upload. Excel files, document files, uh, and Google Earth files. Um, you can even upload images here if you want to uh, upload additional images beyond the restrictions um, uh, indicated on this one. I think here you're only allowed to upload five images because of the, the views and the case um, 
header. Um, the case images are typically typical development plans. Um, the map is unnecessary because you're already mapping the case under uh, location info. But it might be an architectural diagram of the proposed development. Um, and that spices up the case and makes it a bit more, uh, uh, it's a bit easier to identify which case is which um, later on. Um, all right, let's upload some test files. Uh, it's very easy, so you can either do one by one by clicking choose file, and this restricts me to one file at a time. And let's do this. You'll notice I cannot highlight more than one file at a time. So if I click that, click upload, it's one file at a time. If I click multiple files, I can do multiple files at a time. I can either drag in fi files into the window over here from uh, my explorer, or I can click on add files and then highlight multiple files and pop those in. Um, all right. Now I did it before I had the, the one above saving. So let's do that again. Okay, The three files are listed. I can cancel one of them. Uh, for instance, Penguins is already uploaded, so let's kill that one. I did not resize these images before upload, and therefore these are going to be automatically resized. Hit Start Upload. Don't forget to do that. Um, otherwise the upload will not proceed. Uh, Let's move on to additional documents while the upload takes place. Um, this is for PDFs and other documentation for the case. So let's click on Choose File. And we are going to pick a uh, PDF in the queue on the desktop. OK, so let's pick out this one. Great. Uh, let's hit Upload. And off it goes. OK. Um, you'll notice after uploading files, um, there are descriptive fields available for imagery. You have two fields. This is the mouse over and the, the text set in the metadata for the image. Um, you are more than welcome to specify additional information to your images. Um, and for the files, um, this is, for instance, a very ambiguous uh, name for the file. So I'll describe this in more detail, so let's call this the Flamingo Flay um, EIA. Um, okay. Right. The final step, um, you'll notice the message is indicating the resize took, resizes took, took place. Okay. The final step is to hit save. Okay. If you hit save and add another, it will automatically start a new case. So that is helpful if you have a batch of cases you'd like to create on the system. Okay. You'll notice I didn't do the mapping before I hit save. This is uh, preferred to uh, save as often as you can. Um, if your internet connection drops or your computer crashes, um, there's no way of saving your information unless you hit save. Um, so please do save as often as you can, and then rather go back to the edit and continue the, with the rest of the application um, if you're filling in a lot of information. Okay, most times it's not um, going to be a problem. There isn't that much data besides the file uploads, um, which is a lot to replicate. Okay, let's move on to mapping for chapter four, and let's conclude this section of the chapter.